and um, I'm going to show you the first episode of um, school lunches for the kids. Um, the first one is just a uh, try, uh, so be forgiven, please. So I'm going to show you the ingredients first. Uh, we've got silver beet, a bunch of, we're going to give it a wash, a um, couple of garlic cloves and a brown onion. We also have uh, Persian feta, which is a bit more expensive than, than the normal one, but uh, it's much, very much worth the price because uh, a lot of flavor in it. Also a tub of ricotta, um, great for the kids, great for baking and very easy to use. Um, we've got a sheet of filo pastry, which you, you, you won't use at all today. We'll, we'll use a little bit of it and you can keep it in the freezer for the next couple of episodes, hopefully. Um, so I'll fit, cut, wash and cut them um, all and get it all prepared and I'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to the first episode of School Lunches. We are um, making silver beet feta and ricotta bake in a filo pastry. And um, this is the ingredients I've already chopped. We've got onions and garlics, we've got the silver beet washed and chopped, uh, ricotta and feta. And now I put the front pan on for, on, a, on a high heat. And what I like to use is uh, the extra virgin olive oil spray. It's, it's not too fatty, it's, very, it's quite healthy for the kids. Not, not a lot, just a little bit, so the silver beet can get sauteed nicely with the onions and the garlic. So you just drop it, drop it in. And um, silver bit. It looks like a lot of silver bit, but it's actually it, it once it's sauteed, it goes down, and it's probably probably the right amount for our pastry, for our bake. So you let it saute for a little while. Also, when I saute the veggies, I usually like to season them pretty much straight away because the way I understand it, the seasoning releases um, sorry, releases all the flavors of the vegetables very nicely. And now um, I we will continue when it's done. So now that the silver bit is a lot, a lot smaller and it's ready to go, well, I'll show you how to put the bake together. It's very simple and it's very easy to make. All in all, it wouldn't take you more than 20 minutes to make it, to prepare it and to cook it. And my oven, by the way, is on 180 degrees. It's ready to bake. Now, this is the filo. What I do is, I usually use baking paper, but um, at this point, I think this is enough for a non-stick effect. Not a lot, again, just so the pastry doesn't stick too much. Okay, th these are the sheets of the filo. You take one sheet, or even, you know what, they, they're pretty thin. I'll take a few sheets of, of filo, and I'll cut them in the middle. Just so it will be easier for us to to make a um, bake like that, like this. Now we put a little bit of silver beet on the bottom, just like so, and we layer it. We layer with ricotta, and we layer with the feta. But this bake, once it's ready, you, you can leave it in the fridge up to a week. It will be fine. You can eat it also um, cold, but I would recommend eating it nice and warm after the oven. Um, why I like that for the school lunches is that they can eat it cold, especially when they run around and they're hungry. They won't worry about it at all. And it's very, very easy and it's healthy for them. Loads of greens, a uh, type of green that once it's cooked, they won't be complaining that it's a green. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see, that'll be my evidence. Right, so we layered with feta, silver beet, and ricotta. We're gonna layer the last time as well. I won't do too many layers. Actually, 
So I'm, I'm gonna do a couple more sheets on the bottom. Yeah. So some more sheets here of filo. And squish it down because we, we want it to be firm. We want it to be almost like a pizza slice so the kids can just take it and run around still or <laughs> hopefully sit down but just so it doesn't fall apart straight away. So we want it nice and firm. Now this is this is gonna be our last layer. So do the same thing with the silver bit, with the ricotta and with the feta. And we, we pop it in the oven. Um, one, one more thing of pastry on top. And I'll show you how to finish this off as well. Now for the adults, I would also I would recommend sautéing the vegetables with some white wine, good white wine. Maybe a, a nice Sauvignon Blanc would be nice. Um, you can put other ingredients in it too. It's not very very versatile um, idea for bake really I think in my opinion right, last bit of feta okay So this is our last layer, we're going to layer it once more, again I will take a few filo pastry sheets because they're so thin, I don't want them, I don't want them to be very crumbly, we want, we want a very thick uh, kind of idea of the bake. So you just push it down nicely like this, now you can um, do uh, an egg wash and uh, rub it on the pastry, but what we're going to do for now, we just spray a little bit with oil again on the top. And uh, what I didn't show you, one of the ingredients that I haven't shown you yet, is the sesame seeds. And I love sesame seeds, especially on the top of a bake. So just a handful like this, just a handful. It's a nice flavor, the sesame seeds. If it's for the adults, you can choose the black sesame seeds. They look beautiful. You can make smaller pieces for it. So now we put it in the oven and we wait for about 10 minutes. And I'll come back to you when it's ready. Um, 10 minutes later, we're back. And our filo pastry bake is done. So what you do is, I already gave the kids a try. A little try here. Dora loves it. Son, not so much. <laughs> Next time I'll put some bacon in his too. Mm -hmm. So we've got filo pastry like this. Um, you can have it in slices, uh, diagonal slices or rectangular slices, whatever you like. I like smaller slices for the kids as well. It's not too much, it's just enough for them to want more. And um, once it's firmer, once it's, it goes in the fridge for, for a day, the next day it will be a lot firmer as well and a lot more ingredient, fl uh, the flavors will be a lot more combined. So I hope you like it. Stay tuned for the next episode.